Cheers to beer! Hey, I'm Bill the Brewer. You're watching Here's the Beer. Now there's two styles of beers. There's ales and there's lagers. So we're gonna go to Old Bay in New Brunswick, New Jersey, figure out the difference. Come on. These two beers, similar in color. One's an ale, one's a lager. So one is a top fermenting yeast, one is a bottom fermenting yeast. It's all about the yeast. Yeast. The lager is the bottom fermenting, and it's fermented at cold temperatures. This is a spot in my box. The colder temperatures gives, I'd say, a crisper, leaner kind of beer. This is a Crooked Hill American ale. Your ale, because it's fermented at higher temperatures, is always going to be a little, say, hearty. Got a little more flavor, a little more spunk in there. It's ales, hard and grainy. Lagers, clean and crisp. Right here, we have a Yinling Lager from Pennsylvania. This is the oldest beer in America, you believe that? And here, we have a Brooklyn Pennant Ale from New York. They look very similar. But once again, one's an ale, one's a lager. The lager takes a lot longer. There's less extraction of stuff, so it's got that real watery kind of taste to it. Now we move on to the darker beers. This is Trogue Stoppelbach. Doppelbox were made by monks who, while fasting during Lent, couldn't eat. So what they used to do is drink the Doppelbox. It has sustaining value. Even though it's a lager and it's clean and it's crisp, it does have a lot of hardiness. I could eat that. This is an oatmeal stout from Woolovers. Stouts are really old as well. Now the reason why they're dark like this is because they cook the barley and that gives it like a burnt flavor and a coffee-like taste. And the oatmeal, what it does is it lends a silkiness. You kind of put it in here into the beer and it gives it like a real mouth coating good feel. Great. Here's the beer. I'm Bill the Brewer. You're watching Here's the Beer on Devour TV. I hope we put an end to the confusion on ales and lagers.